jumping right into it with one of Jersey's finest, the great Gonzalez. Yes. Welcome one and all. Yeah, this is gonna be against, this is gonna be against Rafi X of New England. This is gonna be actually one of the last matches of Wave A to make it out of the pool I was in. And obviously, Greg Gonzalez, uh, former Ness, now into Palu, uh, quite a good player. And Rafi needs no introduction. One of the best Robs doing it today. Indeed, and uh, represented his uh, his team quite well in the uh, in the circuit, if I'm not mistaken. Unless I am, in which case. Uh, I know Gons was in it. I know. Uh, yeah, Gons was representing uh, my home base, codenamed Bears, yes. ironically enough. Correct. Uh, Rafi, of course, being a New England player, I do not think was involved with the circuit. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, I was. Uh, Rafi, I mean, really good and honestly could have taken it to anyone in the circuit. I'll certainly say that. We probably would have noticed if he uh, if he was in it, to be completely honest. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit interesting seeing this. I like the zoning game from both of these characters. Uh, a lot of mid range play you're going to see a lot from Paolo and Rob alike. And it really just comes down to who can hit their stuff first. And it that, sure seems that way. And that's I a mean, big one right there. Being able to avoid that. Oh, Ooh. no. But I say, being able to avoid the uh, the top and get the uh, explosive flame of the zone was really good, but Rafi just calling out the empty hop there and closing it out with the up smash. Yeah, and neither of these characters are characters that you really want to be directly above, obviously. I mean, Palatin has so many options in the air. That Nair probably the most versatile move in the entire game. However, Rob, as you saw, I mean, well, as we just saw that back air taking the first stock off of Rafi X, obviously, by the great Gonzalez. But as we saw, uh, Rob... He's got that up air. I mean, that, that beat boot. For some reason, the Smash 4 combo still worked with Rob and nobody else, it seems yeah, like. Yeah, it's a little bit harder in this game and not quite the same anymore, unfortunately, for uh, the Rob mains out there. But quite a bit of buffs for him. Uh, I was talking earlier with Hazmat about how it seems like Rob and both Pilo uh, kind of got the, the scratch four, uh, scra or Smash 4 scratch off instead of not quite the full lottery win, but enough buffs to where they're an incredibly good character now. Exactly. You, you, you didn't get the full jackpot, but you're happy with your uh, little $300 or so. Exactly, exactly. And in Palu, for, for sure, definitely increased. But, you know, Rob's got a lot of the same stuff, uh, but the side B's a lot better. Uh, he's got a berry move as well, or berry throw as well, that you don't really see in too much of an option, but it is one to keep an eye on. Um, I'd really be interested to see how uh, the weight of Rob, though, plays into this, because we're going to see Palu die a little bit earlier in this matchup uh, than Rob. There's going to be top of the ledge. Oh, my! And just as you say that, R Rafi uh, going for that Wally Wop off of the edge and uh, not quite finding it. Great Gonzalez trying to hold court on the stage, and Rafi will make it back with the back throw. And Great Gonzalez, he goes for that quite a bit. And for some reason, people just find themselves with the, you know, it it's amazing how many times the Great Gonzalez gets that back throw by just kind of standing there and letting their uh, letting his opponent approach. Yeah, I've, and there I've, you go, getting the kill for his uh, for his patience as well, taking the second stock. I played him uh, earlier in bracket, and definitely something I noticed where it's like, if there was no need for him to really commit to anything, he would just stand at a certain position and just not do anything. And I was, it really threw me off as a player to see someone that was just like, all right, well, I'm gonna just wait for you to do something. Almost not pure reactionary as a player. Obviously, you're gonna see a lot of a, a planned uh, move from him. But you know, the fact that he's willing to just really show that patience and really just take the time. Uh, it really lends itself to Palo's gameplay as well, I feel. Well, I mean, patience is required for optimal Palutena gameplay. I certainly feel like the Explosive Flame not quite going to uh, connect. Ooh, the oh, the patience, man. Literally just stood with his back to him and waited for the roll after the spot dodge. I, I mean, what, what is a robot to the Goddess of Light? She sure. can stand it back, back to Rob as much as she darn well pleases in the Explosive Flame. The Great Gonzalez going to burst out into a 1-0 lead. And uh, Rafi X... He's going to need answers, and he's going to need them fast. Yeah, uh, game one started pretty uh, pretty evenly between these two players. But you just really saw that uh, Gons was able to really just slow it down a little bit more and really just take advantage of, like, Rob's bigger body. Uh, we see the initial bands coming in. Triplas are going to be gone. Uh, going to go straight to FD. Uh, not a bad choice. I think this is really going to be good for both players, but we'll see how uh, he tries to use this in Rob's favor. Um, this is going to be making out a loser side of A3, I believe. I believe you are right, and as we go to FD, so no platforms for the great Gonzalez to take advantage of this time around, and this is Palutena. She loves her some platforms. But how, yeah. so, how does this uh, benefit Rafi X? Rafi? 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 Not really uh, sure. Long uh, A, short A sound? Um, Either way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So regardless of that, how does this benefit him? So really, both characters are going to really benefit from the just the the two D the two D layout of this. Uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, initial pl initial initial uh, excuse me initial initial projectile setups. Where you're going to see the long and the short form of explosive explosive flame, as well as the gyro from Rob. Good 
shield there. He got enough time to sit there and just really get the F smash out afterwards. We see him using the top two. Oh, the top's still up there. He threw that up and really just following up there. I, I get, maybe he knew, but it seemed like that was like a foregone conclusion. You were just getting the up there, but if the top had managed to kill off the top. Rafi, trying to make use of that projectile. The great Gonzalez says, I do, I, I do yeah. not pay no mind That's to your top, and uh, I got a big old staff, and I'm going to use it specifically to take that first stock off of Rafi. That's the tough part. Rob obviously has the jet fuel to you know, throw out an up air there and then continue to recover. Uh, but Palo with that just huge, huge up uh, nair was able to just really chase off with that. More of the same here. Oh, the ledge trapping with the yeah. gyro. Now, this is trouble for Rafi, and this has been a thing ever since Ultimate came out. This The Rob matchup, I mean, you, you saw a lot of success for Rob early on in the life cycle of this game. Specifically, I mean, GWJ, who's from my part on neck of the woods in Philadelphia, placing ninth at Let's Make Moves, which is, uh, I guess, we now refer to as the preseason. But as... Uh, as as it was exhibited even then, just a tough matchup. You, how do you land versus Palutena if you're if you do have uh, you know halfway decent airspeed, if you do have a halfway decent uh, mobility? Rob, I mean, in a vacuum, great recovery, but you just can't land against Palutena. Yeah, the larger characters really do struggle to get down sometimes, and you see Gons with this just really just stationary gameplay has no problem just sitting here milking this lead. Now setting 177. This is tough because this is like a lighter character on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it's just living long past his means. Yeah, 177 percent should be good here though. Yeah. Up there, quick finish there, but Rafi at 98%. Yeah, this is uh, far from even, Broza. We can certainly say that with uh, utmost confidence. The laser and the explosive flame connecting simultaneously. The biggest problem I've seen is Rafi just hasn't been able to get into neutral. Like, he's been able to get to ledge a few times and get a couple of connections, but for the most part, he's just been stuck trying to get back to center stage. Yeah, it certainly seems like that, and he's just so reliant on stage control, but the great Gonzalez has no reason to give him any space with which to operate. And these are two defensively oriented characters. They just operate a little differently from each other. The great Gonzalez having no qualms with uh, Good air dodge no qualms there. with taking the game to Rafi X and the air dodge does uh, help him survive, but only for so long that back air yeah, will secure the second stock for the great Gonzalez. You gotta dig deep at this point. Uh, getting out of this is gonna be pretty difficult at this point, looking at the pretty large lead and the nares that just continue to fall on him. So he now it back air in, but still just gets caught by the grab. Looking Boy. for the explosive flame. I mean he's trying to get some uh He's trying to get something at a very early percentage, and who could blame him? He wants this set over and done with. The great Gonzalez, a top five talent in the uh, in the Garden State of New Jersey. Yeah, the new PR did just come out. I believe you're right on the top five position on there. Indeed, I believe he was number four, in fact, just behind Wishes, Shoyo James. And I don't know if you heard of this guy, Nairo. He's pretty good. He's not bad, not bad for sure. Yeah, yeah I... So the difficult thing there for Rob in the, uh, the down throw confirms that you just saw is that it's really based off the mash now. So you're able to kind of move around it a little bit more. Uh, Rafi's able to connect there and really just erase this deficit too. Fantastic showing right now. And starts to take a bit of a lead. Gets the edge guard set up here. What are we going to see? Just wait. Yeah. I mean, Smart play from Gon there. Just really, literally just waits for the top to disappear. Yeah, this is a... Uh this is a mental game more than anything else. Now, obviously, you need to have the uh, have the correct inputs. You need to play the game, and the great Gonzalez. Spot dodge, baby. Absolutely crazy like a fox, the great Gonzalez. Well, he's not a fox. He's a Palutena. But nonetheless, he will move on on winner's side. Take that and rewind it back. The up smash to seal the deal. And that was some beautiful stuff that we saw from the great Gonzalez. Reading the roll perfectly. And yeah, that is a beam of light going right up your chassis. That is uh, brutal stuff for Rafi X, who again put on a very uh, decent performance, all things considered with the matchup, but there's only so much that you can climb and uh, in, uh, in terms of that hill, and the great Gonzalez is a veritable mountain in the smash seat now. Yeah, now uh, he's gonna have to go and face off against, I believe it's Stock Taker 69, which is quite a tag, uh, to make it out into top 40, or top 32, excuse me. Um, it sounds like an AIM username a little bit. Yeah, really though, like so, something from the throwback days. Um, it, it, you need like the the X X in front of it, you right? Know? Like, yeah. Right. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, he's so a that cool was a, guy. That was a really good showing. Um, Rafi did dug really deep to try to bring that back. Uh, 